ADCAD includes an extensive library of parametric objects and techniques for managing objects that are very innovative. Let's add a piece of furniture such as a sofa. We can choose it from one of the object menus. In the parameterization window, we notice that the values of the parameters can be acquired even from drawing. For example, we want that the width of the sofa is equal to the length of the wall. The choice of the fixed point is important for the accuracy of insertion. Let's click the point at the top left corner as we want it exactly in the corner of the room. Once the object is rotated, ADCAD asks us a second time to specify the insertion point. If the first specified is OK, we only have to confirm with Enter. Let's add a balcony with two sides, selecting the object as usual and leaving with Parameters. We note that it's too short on one side. Once the balcony is selected, the context menu, which we can open by clicking the right mouse button, displays, among other things, the modify command. We modify the partial width parameter and leave with apply. The balcony is now correct. Let's see the isometric view. The parametric objects all have both a plan and a 3D representation. If necessary, you can change this functionality and generate only one of the two representations. Let's disable a 3D wall so we can work better. In addition to the context menu after selection, we have a toolbar command that lets you modify objects. In the case of the sofa, let's suppose we want three sitting places. We now modify the window and learn a new way to assign a value to a parameter. We get the opening width value using the From Object button. In this case, we are asked from which object we want to retrieve the parameter value. Once you've changed the parameters, if you leave with OK, you are also asked to indicate the insertion point once again. In this way, it would be possible to put the window on a different wall. Let's now see how to replace an object with another. We choose a new object and leave with Replace. We are asked to select the old objects to be replaced. We only leave out a window. A dialog box opens where we can see the parameters of both the new and old objects. When the parameters are equal, they are indicated by arrows. This is to indicate that the parameter values of the new object are inherited from the old one. If you want, you can also assign a different value. Let's now replace a door. We select one with an arch shape and we're going to replace the one with glass. We accept the transferring of parameters from the old to the new object except for the opening angle. We want the new door to be closed. Finally, we want to show the PramApply command that allows you to apply the parameter values of an object to a whole series of other objects. We are asked to select the source object from which to copy the values. As we see in the parameter dialog box, you can select all or only some. We only select the opening width and we're then asked to which objects the parameter value should be applied.